All right, we're given a problem on cost, a cost equation of these copiers. And how do you find an average? Will you take the total cost divided by the number of copiers? Kind of like your grades, right? If it's not a weighted average. And so that's all they're asking me to do is to write here. What I really want to show you in this video is graphing. By now, if you have been watching my videos, you know that I am in love with Desmos. All right, so Desmos is just very quick and easy. Yes, you can use your own calculators to graph if you like, okay? I just find, you see me scrolling in and out, I just find it a lot easier to use Desmos. All right, so Desmos typically likes you to use an X. You can define other variables, but where we don't have to get into that, and most of you on your calculators are gonna use X. So I'm graphing, oh, and to get that fraction, you either can just click the division right there, or I typed a forward slash. So if you saw on my last sheet, this is my average cost. Okay, so that's what you saw me write right there. So that's all I'm gonna do is just simply graph this. It also tells you to restrict your domain. And in this case, it's we're restricting the number of years, okay, so n is in, in years, I say n, x in this case is it in years, and so I'm going to restrict this. I can use this keyboard down here, x less than or equal to 20. All right, so in other words, when I think about this function, they give me a total cost of a copier after so many years. So the cost is my y-axis and the total number of years is my x-axis. Now, the first thing you should notice is I don't see anything, right? And you can sit and you can scroll out a little bit. That might be the best way to do it. Or remember this wrench over here, you can manipulate your axis. I mean, because I think my x-axis is only what from two to 20 and I can kind of see now my y-axis. All right, so things that you want to think about is this average cost when it reaches a minimum. And what's kind of cool in here is you saw me just click on the function, it will actually show you the minimum value. Now they want you to round it to 11, but then what they want you to do is if you took that rounded value and plugged it in, and this is really cool about Desmos, I can add an expression and say, how about evaluate that at 11? And this is the answer they're looking for. So it reaches an average cost per year. The average cost per year is at a minimum at that 11 years rounded and the minimum average cost is approximately this 70909. And then certainly again, by looking at this, we can find where the average cost is at a minimum is at that 11 years. So really, really, really think about using Desmos. I know many of y'all are very good with your calculators and you can find that minimum with your calculators, but it just makes it a lot faster and easier looking here at the Desmos graph. 